I'm going to create a quick tutorial on backing track mode, recording mode in Upbeat Music app. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to get to your class. At this time, let me go ahead and click on Filmonia or Crystal Class. Okay, get to the file. And you notice there are four folders, right? And I want you to click on the recording assignment folder. Okay, and there are currently three songs here. The one that I'm going to use today as an example is the Over the Rainbow. So click on this. And there's a file there. And you see um, there are three dots here. And click on that to download this particular file onto your computer. Okay, after you do that, you go to the website of the music app. All right, the backing track mode allows you to play along with the video, pre-recorded video. Okay, if you click on the trend app for free, if you're the one creating the room, obviously you create, uh, click on the create room and let others know the room number, which is located on top left-hand corner. Okay, all right, the next thing that you need to do is click on the setting on the bottom left-hand corner, bottom left. And there are two tabs, one's personal, there are two tabs, personal room, personal room. Start with the personal. Uh, if you look at the metronome, the sound here is the cowbell that sounds like this. And the default is this sound. Okay, I'm going to try the cowbell because I never tried that. But uh, there we go. You know what I suggest? Since this is the backing track, you're going to be playing along with the uh, pre-recorded video and sound. Uh, you could really lower the sound here. Okay, you don't really have to make it really loud. All right, so let's, before you close, go to the room. The recording mode that I want you to select is the backing track. And here, the upload that file that you downloaded just moments ago, and this is the file, then actually the, the one that I downloaded. And once you select, you're done. You're ready to record now, okay? So on the very bottom, the setup, I assume that you, oop, what is that? No, remind me later. How did that interrupt me here? Okay, let me go back. All right, that's a little bit awkward. Okay, click on the record button here, and then start the recording. You, you notice that there's me already pre-recorded uh, me playing the over the rainbow. So you just follow along. Here's the recording button. Two, three, four. And you notice there's a slight rubato, right? I slow down a little bit in the introduction. So really, really listen to the sound. Stop it here. You can listen to it, let me, or you just click on here. Okay. Hmm. Uh, there's a visual. There's a there a shadow here. Oh, uh, there's a feedback. I should have. Two. You know what I should have done actually. I should have gone. Well, let me finish this uh, first. Two, three, four. I'm going to go ahead and just finish that. Actually, what I should have done is go to the sound here. And on the sound here, um, the output and input, I should have selected the um, as output as this one here. But now it's done. So done is done. Let's go back. OK. Let's listen to it. Click on this play button. The person who created the room is the person that has that option of clicking the play. Okay. All right, so I can blow, blow it up if I want to, right? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pause it, and I could download here. Um, what should I write? Just throw over. Okay, now I'm done. Okay, and so after you download it and all that, you get out of it and 
Oh, my computer is running a little hot right now. Okay. Uh, you could just get out of it and then completely out of this website. And then, oops. Keep making mistakes. Sorry about that. Go back to your Teams. And then go back to this folder, recording assignment folder, and click on over the rainbow, and you upload your recorded MP4 files to here. Okay? Alright, guys, try to have fun practicing playing together with your friends. Bye now.